Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to make a quick video about how to make your pre-DirectX 10 games look better. So this is applies for NVIDIA GPUs and um, there's a post here by a guy called Jester on the GND Tech Forums. I'll put the link in the description so you can you can read this in your own time. But basically, um, he details some ways to get your uh, get your get your graphics looking really good on these older games and because we have some really powerful graphics cards out there now we can take advantage of those extra shaders those extra uh, clock speeds and really make our old games look really good so for starting off you'll need nvidia inspector which was used before in, in my videos um, i'll put the link in the description if you need to download that and launch that and you'll immediately get to the global profile so the two things he wants to us to set up first are the texture filtering to high quality and the ambient occlusion to high quality. So texture filtering is on the section four and you can find that near the bottom. You can just set this quality to high quality. And on, on the number five, section five, uh, common, you'll find the ambient occlusion setting and you can put that to high quality. The next thing here is the power management mode and that's also on the, the common section. Set that to prefer maximum performance. Um, usually if you are on a laptop, you might want to set this to uh, the adaptive setting but if you're on a desktop you just always want that to be cranked up to the to the maximum so so that's fine there the next uh, option is the disable shader cache so you find that in section five as well on common and the shader cache uh, is a relatively new option but um, apparently it causes some stut stuttering in games so that's something to, to to turn off next up we have the negative lod bias and that's in section four you should set that to clamp and um, th there are some advanced uh, ways to use this one but I think the basic way is to just set it to clamp and, and forget about it. Finally we have the refresh rate which is under the section 2 sync and refresh and that should be set to the highest available refresh rate that your monitor can provide so usually that's uh, if you're on a go gaming monitor that's 120 hertz 144 or, uh, or higher if you've, if you've got a very high-end monitor so once you've done all that make sure you apply your changes uh, by pressing the button in the top right corner and um, immediately you should see a difference in, in a lot of your games. Now I'm going to leave some of the uh, the more complicated settings in this uh, in this guide to a, probably another video because there are some game specific stuff and he does talk about some advanced ways to make your game look really really good but um, I'll just show you two of them which I use quite a lot though. The anti-aliasing mode here on the section 3 um, I sometimes put this to override and then set this to 8 times Q, 8x Q, 8x uh, multi-sampling. And uh, that basically gives your games uh, the, the smooth edges of that anti-aliasing uh, provides. And then also I like to put the anti-isotropic uh, anti filtering mode <laughs> to user to find and then placing that to 16x. That makes your textures very, very sharp. So you want to do that on a game specific level uh, through the use of profiles um, just so um, your your card is, is acting correctly for the for the specific games that you want. Um, and then also you, you need to make sure you apply those changes as, as usual. So I hope that helps you and I hope you're able to play your older games in uh, crystal clear graphics uh, and, and make them look really, really sharp. Take it easy guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.